Hello, my name is Ashley Share. I'm the founder and CEO of Share Love Fund. Today we're going to explore chapter 6, verse 46 of the Gita. Chapter 6, verse 46 reads as follows. That purified yogi rises beyond aesthetics, those with psychic knowledge, and even those who do meritorious works. Therefore, Arjuna, be that yogi. So let us take a deeper dive. Maybe it sounds a little too much to say, but Krishna says it by those psychic, by those with psychic knowledge. He means those who study the scripture to gain um, psychic powers. A person may have all kinds of um, knowledge, but only a sincere yogi is far beyond this. I'm just reading the scripture. What you um, take to believe is true or not is um, up to you, and we can explore this together as a critical thinking exercise using um, this as a sounding board. He or she is superior to ritualistic people. Um, going a little bit deeper, applying sort of a sixth sense. Sometimes people practice all kinds of rituals. They are even proud of having done this or that ritual. But Krishna is saying that yoga excels all who act for their personal benefit, that the true yogi acts without any personal motives and therefore is above all other mentioned. So um, basically it is important to know, and it's obvious, but um, people uh, sort of sell snake oil sometimes with yoga, but basically yoga helps you control your own thoughts, but it doesn't um, give you the ability to understand the thoughts of others. So um, yoga helps you control your own mind, but it will not help you tap in to the mind of others. When you are relaxed and you, when you are in control of your own mind and when you are present, you're actually better at reading body language of other people because you're not like thinking 10 steps ahead, worrying about your to-do list. You're actually listening to the person you're talking to when you're present. So sometimes you pick up on external social cues, but I just want you to take a moment to be really clear that yoga does not do mind reading. Yoga helps you control your own mind and, um, and it doesn't, um, let you tap into somebody else's mind. We are all separate, individual, autonomous entities. And um, yoga is about being in control of your own thoughts. When um, we're talking about um, psychic knowledge, um, we can interpret this for daily modern living as, um, as wisdom. May the light in me be the light in you. Have a blessed day. Namaste.